right, folks. What we have here is a mob mount claw. Claims to be the world's most durable smartphone mount. As you can see right here, assembled in the USA. Nice picture of it installed. Here you can see details of the claw. <clears throat> the nice thing about uh, this claw, it can conform to just about anything you want to put it on. If it'll fit between the claw, whether it's square, round, or flat, or otherwise, it'll work really well for you. Gives you... Uh, Compatible with, with large phones, uh, you know, all kinds of different ones like the Google Pixel XL, Samsung Galaxy Mega, uh, Nokia Lumina, the Samsung S7, S8, Galaxy Notes, iPhone 8 Plus, uh, pretty much all the big phones here showing anywhere from 4.4 inch to 7.2 and I think my uh, S21 is larger than that. Uh, we'll see how that goes in the future. So far, over 3,000 miles on my bike has worked really well. No complaints so far, except for one minor one I'll get into here. So when you pull it out of the box, of course you got this thumb screw that holds the ball mount. So when you pull it out of the box, it's going to be in literally three pieces, just like this. You, know, you got your plastic thumb screw, which I wish they'd make out of aluminum. Your claw is basically a polymer. There may be some metal inside, I'm not really sure, but all the hardware, the crossbars and everything, they are metal. Nice soft rubber grip here, and it's got some teeth on it. This thing, you can crank down on it and won't hurt a thing. I mean, I've used on my bars. I'll show you how I mount it on my fairing, and it has not come loose. I haven't even thought about coming loose. The rest of the mount, it is all metal, it's all heavy duty, this is your thumb screw for the adjuster, it is captive, so you don't have to worry about losing that, this nut is also captive, so the way this works, you have a cradle here on the bottom, two hooks, there is a foam rubber type thing attached to it, it looks like it's glued in place, foam pad in the back, and the way you operate this, you set your phone into the bottom of the hooks. Bring down the top claw here. Make sure that it's centered. Then on the back, crank down your thumb screw and it's in. And it is solid. I mean, it will not move. As long as you put enough tension on this thumb screw right here. I said 3,000 miles worth of riding with this and it has not even tried to come loose. The only problem that I did have that I noticed after the second day of riding it, of course, I wish they would have uh, switched these around to where the ball was up here and the thumb screw was down here because of weight wise. You know, these larger phones, as you can see, there's more of the phone up top from the ball mount. So it's down here around the three quarter point of the length where the ball would do better up here because what I was running into is I'm going down the road the phone would want to tilt off to one side but then one thing that helped is I noticed this ball right here is aluminum and it's actually held on to this bracket right here via a screw so what you do is you pull these two torque screws out I believe they're like a T5 pull them out this bracket comes off and then you can tighten that screw up. It probably wouldn't hurt to put a little dab of either Loctite or even a little dab of super glue on there. That way it won't back out on you again. But other than that, that's the only real problem I've had with this mount. You can tell when I'm moving around, it is metal. It is very heavy duty. I trust it. Alright, so to assemble it, here's the claw. You're going to put your <clears throat> Excuse me. The thumb screw onto the ball. Pop it onto the mount. Then all you have to do then is just tighten down your thumb screw. Put in the angle you want. And tighten it down. It doesn't take a lot. But if you over tighten it, it'll jump the threads. And you have a chance of damaging it. Like I said with a heavier phone like mine on big enough bumps. It might move a little bit. But as you can see, it's pretty stiff. 
might even be able to hear it kind of creaking a little bit as it moves. The only problem I have with the phone moving is if I hit a big enough bump where the weight of the phone kind of overtakes it. But other than that, no problems. So, overall, I would say at least a 9 out of 10. The reason I say that, I think this should be aluminum also instead of plastic. That way you're less likely to uh, over tighten it and mess up the threads. Uh, I don't know if they could do the ball socket out of aluminum. That would be nice, but I think if they at least did the thumb screw out of aluminum, it'd be 100% better than what it is because I just don't trust the uh, plastic thumb screws. And who knows, I might attempt to do a little bit of a modification and try to do like I said and switch these two around because I think, you know, like anything, you want the heavier part of something below the pivot point. That way it doesn't want to naturally turn or over on its side or upside down. All right, so let me uh, reset this camera off this tripod and I'll show you how I mount it onto my bike. All right, so here we are over at the new tri-glide. I want to show you how I mount this. So you can mount it down here onto your handlebars. I've done that. Don't particularly care for it there. My favorite place to mount it with these bat wing fairings, believe it or not, is right here above the tack. All you do is I found that you put the single claw on the top and the double claw on the bottom here with the adjuster. Just push it up against the front of the fairing. Give it a good couple of turns. It's nice and solid. It's not going to move around on you. Then you can set your angle. And getting the phone in and out is so easy. Just lift up on the top hook. Drop it in the little cradle, hold the top hook down and reach back and tighten up your thumb screw and there you go. And if you're using the uh, plug, USB plug coming out, I'm actually using a GoPro data cable plugged in the USB and right into the USB port. Works out great. It's not obtrusive. You can even turn it sideways, but like I said due to the location of the mount being at the three-quarter mark you're most likely with a heavy phone like this s21 i really like it being there but unfortunately this direction it kind of blocks the speedo but if you bring it to this side it doesn't block your speedo anymore this is where i'd prefer it to be at the way you can manipulate it easily uh, that's pretty much there you have it I mean, I've really enjoyed using this one. It said it was $64.95 through the dealership I bought it at. I've looked at Amazon. It's going for the exact same price. And it said it's Mob Moto Claw. Uh, if you go and do a search for Mob Moto over on Amazon, they've got tons of different products. This is just the one that I decided to use, and I'm really enjoying it. So let me know if uh, you've used one yourself, what you think of it. You know, drop it down in the comments below. Uh, if you decide to go and get you one and use it, come back here and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, little products like this, they tend to make life easier. You know, I use my Amazon Music via Android Auto through the bike, so i got to have my phone accessible to where I can access all of my music because uh, Android Auto is a whole other thing. Eventually, I hope they get more access to your apps and everything to it so you don't actually have to have the phone out to really dig in deep so once again this graybeard thanks for joining me